Hey, this is Swapnil Bhatia from Mukwe.com and today we are going to talk about KDE Plasma Active running on this Google Nexus 7 tablet. As you can see, this is the default uh, home screen. I have changed the wallpaper so it's not what it comes default. There are three elements from what I understand till now. When you pull it from left hand side, you get all these recommendations. And you can see how fluid and how snappy it is. It's very uh, responsive. The right hand side, you can access your currently running activities. You can add more activities and you can access them by just flipping. On the top bar, you see some of the set system settings as well as notifications. The extreme left is uh, speakers uh, or volume, so you can control your volume here. The second option is Nepomex search, which I have not enabled yet, so it won't be working at the moment. The third option is your um, storage devices. Fourth option is battery status and then fifth option is your uh, network settings right now i'm connected to my uh, wireless network i can enable and disable or i can configure it by hitting the settings key uh, button which i just did this is notification where you get notifications and the last one is uh, your location you can change location if you want these uh, then you have time and these options will become active when you go in an app which needs these options it's about sharing or liking bookmarking or uh, pinning the apps now to access the apps you pull it down like this and you have all these apps here and you can see how snappy it is that's what i am impressed with and this is kind of task manager or you can switch between applications from here or you can close an app just by clicking on this button and it will close it as you see so uh, by default it comes with all, some application and some settings and it's very easy to install new applications like i install kate here so let's see some applications let's open kwrite and now you can start uh, typing whatever you want So you have a full-fledged text editor on Nexus 7 which I miss on Android and you can do everything that you usually do on a text editor and as I said if you want to switch between applications just drag it and then you can switch between some other application uh, let's open Kate you can pull it down with Kate you will get this typical setup so this is now you're running Kate so now you have two applications and you can very easily switch between the two apps from this task manager very easily let's close these apps discard and by this you can go back to the home screen as you can see you have Calligra words here so you can use a full-fledged uh, word processor to compose your uh, text one problem that I face with Android is it doesn't support ODF or ODT. So whatever I compose there, it has to be saved in either Doc or DocX. With the Caligra, you can compose your content in whatever file format you want and save it. So Nexus 7 now has, in a way, full-fledged word processor, which is also open source. What else is there? You have mail settings. You can configure your mail. write new email subject line name since I have not configured my email and uh, so or my email account so I cannot send any emails and then you have marble which is an amazing I can say open source alternative to Google Earth or Google Maps as you can see it, this is the most beautiful thing with this KD plasma that it's really impressive First of all, you can pinch to zoom and then you can see how fast it is and how responsive it is. So this is something which is really quite impressive. 
what else is there let's close it and go to any other application close mail let's close all the applications discard and now we have Caligra author we have Kiddy media plasma media center we have key organizer we have images let's see images now once again as I have already shown you that it's uh, really very impressive pinch to zoom is really fast it doesn't feel like you won't feel any lag whatsoever with it so it's really really impressive and you can you'll also notice a not uh, you can see animation at the bottom when you switch between images you will see a nice uh, i hope you can notice it so that's your images you can always go back to the folder and then what else is there you have files but more important you have a full fledged uh, terminal here so you can use it to install new application or to uh, to update your system so I am just becoming root the password is MER and now I can do run zipper I should not be doing it but I'm just so there is no update because I already ran an update last night so there is no update available at the moment but you get my point that you can install any application from uh, the terminal what else is there and you have ebook reader you have a browser you have file manager where you can access all your files you have documents music let's see if music plays here Oh yeah, it is playing. So you can see that audio is also working fine. Pause it. Let's go back and access the file manager again. So as you've seen, you have music, you have videos, you have images. We have already seen images now what else is there you have settings so if you go to settings you can set the brightness of the screen you can set when the screen will be locked you can turn off the screen or you can also manage how you want the computer your tablet to go to sleep you can increase or decrease the font size you can also choose which should be the start page so I can enter mukt where dot and time and date you can change time and date you can see how beautiful it is let's go back and see what else is there So you have some card games I don't play games so I cannot uh, play or test any games but let's just try to open a game this is some kind of card game I don't know so I can't play I don't know how to play this game so I'm sorry anyway so you you got the point that you know it has games it has um, useful application it has a browser where is the browser let's try to open the browser it's here I think I have a lot of applications open at the back so it is opening mockware.com and 
here we go I don't know if uh, flash is currently working on this tablet or not we will see if the site loads here it is still loading lot of images on the side so here we have Muktvir and it is still taking yeah I think it's loaded now it's still taking some time to load yeah it is still loading so but anyway you get the you can see how responsive it is and that is what matters to me so I let's see if uh, YouTube video will play here It is really smooth. Oh, it is playing actually. No, I don't see video, so maybe it's just audio. Free distros. Well, you're closer to freedom than if you ran Windows or some Apple system. So that's your browser here. And what else is there? I mean, you can have a full computer running on this tablet, which is very, very impressive. And I'm really impressed with the, with how fast and responsive it is, considering that it is still in, you know, development phase. So I think KDE developers have done a really great job here with this Active Plasma. And I, 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 I support and recommend KD because it's uh, being developed by community. So we can be rest assured that uh, we won't have to make compromises if some company wants to find more ways to make money using our data. Anyway, so let's just, uh, so that was a quick preview of this uh, tablet. I'm sorry I'm being a bit slow because I am exploring this tablet for the first time. And let's just see what happens to movies. Can it play movies? And if it does, that's where I'll end this uh, quick preview of KD Plasma Active running on Nexus 7. And if you want to install KD Plasma Active on your tablet, uh, I have written some instructions on the website where you can go and uh, uh, install it on your tablet as well. So I'm trying to play a video here. Let's see how video plays. Oh, wow. It it actually plays very well and audio is working also so I will leave you here so I will leave you here with this video you enjoy the video and leave your feedback